to put an end to the Peloponnesian War, Lysistrata persuades women from all over Greece to go on a sex strike until the men agree to make peace. Lysistrata hatches a plan with the older women to seize control of the Acropolis where the city treasury is kept. The men attempt to smoke the women out of the Acropolis, but the women extinguish the fires and triumphantly drench the men. When a magistrate, Aproboulos, arrives to retrieve funds for the war, Lysistrata berates him about the losses that the women have been forced to bear. Women have to take on more than twice your burden. Firstly, it's us giving birth to children. Then we send them off as soldiers. The women dress the magistrate up in their clothes and send him away, humiliated. As the strike continues, the sex-starved men of Greece become increasingly desperate. A Spartan herald approaches the Acropolis and finds the magistrate outside. He explains the desperate situation of his countrymen and they both agree that a treaty is required. Delegations from Athens and Sparta meet to discuss the treaty. Lysistrata appears with her naked handmaid, Peace. The men's eyes are fixated on peace as Lysistrata chastises them for treating each other so badly and reminds them that they previously helped one another. The Spartan and Athenian leaders guiltily agree and decide on land rights to end the war. Lysistrata gives the women back to their men and joins the celebration of peace. Get more from the Open University. Check out the links on screen now.